An update now on the deadly shooting outside Sin High School we first told you about on the WGN Evening News yesterday. Yeah, we're learning more tonight about the 16-year-old victim in this triple shooting. WGN's Julian Cruz is live at Sin High School with the very latest tonight. Julian? Well, Ray and Micah, the surviving 16-year-old in grave condition at last report with gunshot wounds to the jaw, chest, and the arm, while tonight the grief-stricken family of 16-year-old Davion Gibson making funeral arrangements. His father hurt. His mother's hurt. He still have both grandparents. They are hurt. Community activist Andrew Holmes describing the pain being felt today by victims' loved ones. Most especially the family of slain 16-year-old Davion Gibson. Now he's not coming back through that door. Now they have to close the door to a casket. That hurts. Gibson's loved ones too distraught to talk on camera, but the family wishing to tell Chicago he had nothing to do with street gangs, they say. The 16-year-old helping to get his little brother ready for school every morning. A respectful young man, his grandmother tells me, caught in the crossfire of a conflict he had nothing to do with. We're going to make sure that we do everything in our power to keep our community safe, and we're also going to continue to address the root causes of crime. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson today telling reporters it's going to take everybody, from community-based organizations to violence interrupter specialists to police and the business community, to stop the kinds of shootings that we saw yesterday afternoon just blocks away from Sen High School, where today school administrators and Chicago police say that they've beefed up security. I am really disappointed, really disappointed. Sen High School mom Migdalia Duarte and daughter Juliana say they're disappointed with the school district's efforts to keep students safe. Camera doesn't do nothing. There's one camera over there, there's another one over there, but where's the security at? Migdalia Duarte telling us she'd like to see more security personnel at Sen High School. Chicago Public Schools in a written response pointing to investments this current school year. The district is committed to continue more than $60 million in investments towards programs and resources that protect students' physical safety while also addressing their mental health and emotional well-being. But short-term in response to yesterday's triple shooting, Chicago police administrators and Chicago police insisting that they have bolstered resources and security, not just here at Sen, but also at other Chicago public schools. In Edgewater, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thank you, Julian. It's being called an unprecedented public-private partnership to reduce gun violence in Chicago. We are pulling ourselves together to address the root causes of violence. Political, business, and other groups are behind a new plan known as SC2 for short. It calls for aligning every level of government with the business and philanthropic communities to boost safety and jobs. 20,000 Chicagoans are estimated to be at the highest risk of committing a shooting or being a gunfire victim. The plan's goal, reach half of those people in the next five years by connecting them to critical services and jobs. We have done everything possible to the best of our ability to make sure that reducing violence is a shared priority here in Chicago. That initiative will scale up to include six other South and West Side neighborhoods over five years. A collaborative started in North Lawndale in 2022. Plan still needs to raise about half of the expected $400 million cost. 